बाणी एंड व्हाट इज दैट अमनाय प्राह तत्म हरिमी परम सर्वशक्ति जीवान प्रकृति कवलिता भावत भेदाभेद सकल मी हरे साधन शुद्ध भक्त साध्यम प्रीति में तत्प्रीति में जनान गौर चंद्र स्वयं सह हेज चली तो भक्ति में नोट ठाकुर है कलेक्टेड दिवाणी ऑफ बट इन वेरी ब्रीफ डोंट गो डिटेल गुरुवे कौर चंद्राय राधिकाये कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो नम वेरी केयरफुल यू शुड नो नोट इन योर हॉल टू नो भक्ति बान ठाकुर हैज कोटेड ऑल दीज थिंग्स इन जैव धर्म इज लॉस्ट एंड बेस्ट बुक एथेंटिक बुक Taking the essence of whole Vedic Upanishad, Shastra, Bhagavat, Chaitanya, Chaitamrit, all the books of our Goswami, everything has taken the essence in Jaya Dharma. So he is telling. In this verse, Shila Bhakti No Thakur is explaining, Janan Gaur Chandra Swayam Saha. These are the personal instructions of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It is called Dasmul Tattva, Dasmul Shiksha. Ten mul, that means roots or fundamental teachings. Ten fundamental instructions, which comprise uh, the essence of the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If you are not knowing all these things, one day you will have to. Know all these things, and then you can enter in bhakti realm hmm? by the fruit of chanting name or oh, in high class of association. You will have to come to this point, for oh, this is the ground platform. platform of bhakti. If no platform, no bhakti. Only chanting, and after some days you will be weak and you will fall down. Even from sannyas. Also from uh, what Archan of Thakurji, so in the duty. Hmm? It is high class of worship. But even hmm, you can see that if you are not knowing all these things, after some days all the pujari will marry. Not only one time, so many times they are bound to do. So, Siddhanta Bolia Chitte Na Kara Alas. Yahan Hai Chalage Krishna Shuddhi Mana. What? Shri Kaviraj Goswami is instructing Siddhanta Bile Chete Nakara Alas in the matter of understanding Siddhanta, the established truths, uh, the philosophical conclusions of our Guru Varga, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, of our Guru Prampara. Then Nakara Alas, don't be lazy, don't have any indifference, hmm? or be uh, very, very neutral in this regard. Very enthusiastically give one's time and energy and try very hard to understand. The philosophical conclusions of our acharyas. Why is there any reason? Now our mind is going here and there. We cannot chant and be still. But jahoi te Krishna lagi sudha damanas. When the tattva siddhanta, the philosophical conclusions of our acharyas appear in our hearts, when we understand them deeply, at that time the mind will be fixed. It will not be restless, and it will become attached to the lotus feet of Krishna. So it's very essential to know these things. So in Dasmul Tattva, ten fundamental teachings, it has been divided into two parts: Praman and Prameya. Oh, Rup, um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself oh, is speaking all this. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying two parts: Praman and Prameya. What does it mean? First, Praman means authentic evidence. What can be accepted as reliable information? Which is always correct, has no fault. It is immaculate and perfect. What is that? That is called amnaya. Amnaya is bona fide evidence. Amnaya sutaya sakshad brahmavidyati vishrutaha guru prampara prapta vishvakatu hi brahmanaha. Amnaya means the statements 
of the Vedas, of the scriptures, but not taken directly. The statements of the Vedas which we receive coming in Guru Parampara. This is called Amnaya. This knowledge is perfect. There's no flaw in this. Any jiva in this world has four defects. Brahma Pramada Vipraksa Karna Patav. Arsha Vigya Vakya Nahi Dosha Esab. To be inattentive, to make mistakes, to be illusioned and to cheat others. These are the defects in the jivas of this world. And therefore, whatever knowledge they give and whatever knowledge they try to take, oh, it is all distorted and incorrect. Therefore, if one will submit himself to submissive hearing of the statements of the Vedas, to a bona fide guru in Prampara, this knowledge is perfect. This is evidence of something which is true. It is called Amnaya. So this is first our evidence. That is the first teaching of Mahaprabhu. Now we'll come to the other nine. No, no. In these, all Amnaya, Srimad Bhagavat is Amal Pramas. If everything here and there, some discussion, oh, Vedas are telling this, Upanishads are telling that, and so many Purans are telling that Om. Oh, Amal final Pramani is Srimad Bhagavatam of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Everywhere he told. Bhagavatam is called Amal Puran, spotless evidence. Why? Because Vyasudeva and others have written in Shastra something for the common people to attract them. So that is called Samal, Samal Puran. Some Puran has some, some defect. But Bhagavatam, everything, every word, every syllable they have is some perfect. Sattvic, Rajasik, Tamasik. Oh, they have teaching. Huh? We should do pranam. We should not mm, criticize them. But, oh, we should accept Srimad Bhagavatam like pure evidence. So, first teaching is praman, what is evidence? And the next nine teachings, they are called prameya. Prameya means. What is it that has been proven by that perfect evidence? Nine things have been proven by that evidence. Among ah. these nine... Oh, very good. <coughs> oh, you should next. Harehi paramatattam. What meaning? Om Jnana Timirandha Sigyana Anjani Shalakya Chakshuna Militam Jena Tasnai Shri Guru Vehi Namaha <clears throat> so, in this verse of Srila Bhakti Thakur, we heard the first fundamental truth of our Sampradaya, which is Praman and Srimad Bhagavatam, is the ultimate evidence which we have to accept. Second thing is, Harihi Paramam Tattvam. Sri Hari, Lord Krishna, He is the supreme, absolute truth. And in Bhagavatam, what is said? Ete Chansakala Punsa Krishna Su Bhagavana Swayam. All the incarnations which we see, so many incarnations of the Lord, Ram, Nirsingha, Vaman, Kalki, and so many, Gunavataras, Yugavataras, Leelavataras. But all these incarnations, what are these incarnations? These incarnations are coming from, they are originating from Krishna. Krishna is the source. He is that first original candle from which all these other candles are lighting up. There is no difference between the potency. Tatvataha, principally they are all same. Krishna, one substance, non-dual, absolute truth. But because of the varieties of pastimes, different moods of the devotees, the Lord exhibits different forms to share wonderful, loving relationships with them. So, Harihi Paramam Tattvam. And then, what is next? What Gita has told about this fact? Aham Sarvaste Parabhuvo Mata Sarvam Parvartate Mavivansha Jeeva Loke Jeeva Bhutsanatana and so many more verses where Krishna is claiming Mattaha that Parataram Nanyat Kinchidasti Dhananjaya Maamekam Shanam So, these are... Okay. In what? Any Upanishad? <coughs> Any Upanishad? Ah? Nitya Nitya Nam Chetana Chetana Yes. All this. So Maranthi every fairy. So this is Tattvam Jati Jnana Madhvam. Brahmati Paramatma Jati Bhagavan. In Vedas also, some can tell where is the name of Krishna. 
सबलात कृष्ण सबलात कृष्ण और जरा और सोमिलित देन हरिमी परम तत्व सर्वशक्ति दिस कृष्ण हु इज द ओरिजिनल पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हैड ही इज सर्वशक्तिमान निर्विशेष In other words he is not formless he is not devoid of any transcendental attributes he is the full complete expression of the transcendental transcendental substance so he is the reservoir of all the potency omnipotence majorly we categorize his multipotencies in three categories his antaranga shakti bahiranga shakti and maya shakti antaranga shakti which is manifesting all the affairs in the spiritual world from vaikuntha onwards to the ultimate realm of golok vrindavan and shrimati radhika she is krishna swarup shakti who is actually maintaining all the affairs and then bahiranga shakti which is creating this material universe and unlimited varieties of so many substances which we see here and then between these two energies of the lord this marginal potency tatastha shakti and from tatastha shakti all the conditioned souls they are emanating so these are the three prime energies of the lord which are contributing in serving the lord in so many varieties of uh, ways which are actually inconceivable for the conditioned soul to perceive then sarva shakti mada sabdhim तद भिन्नाश्चांश्च जीवान रसाभिम वेरी गुड यू शुड सिट डाउन रसाभिम अज्ञान तिमि रंधस्य ज्ञानांजन सलाकया चक्षुरून मिलितं जीन तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः So now we are coming in Pramaya, a third point, Rasabdhim. Rasabdhim means Rasa means mellow and Abdhi means ocean. Means ocean of mellows, endless, infathomable ocean of mellows. So we have to go to Smrti Bhagavatam and other scriptures for this proof that Krishna is. in fathomable and deepless and boundaryless mellows at first we have to surrender in the lotus feet of gurudev and rupa goswami pad through rupa goswami pad through gurudev just we have heard about gauravani so what rupa goswami pad has told about vasana bros in his invocation shloka of bhakti rasamrit sindhu स one primary ras another secondary ras primary ras divided into five parts shanta ras dasa ras mean servitor mood sakha ras friendly charm vatsala ras parental mood and madhur ras paramar mood so and then secondary hasya adbhut karun raudra भयानक वीर विभत्स ऑल टुगेदर ट्वेल्व कृष्ण इज एम्बडिमेंट ऑफ ऑल ट्वेल्व रसस हाउ यू कैन प्रूव फ्रॉम श्रीमद् भागवतम सेन श्रीमद् भागवतम व्हेन कृष्ण केम फ्रॉम ब्रज कृष्ण कंस इनवाइट कृष्ण टू जॉइन इन हिज फेस्टिवल ही सेंड अ क्रूर व्हेन कृष्ण बलदेव प्रभु केम टू मथुरा when he entered the arena of kamsa there are so many types of adhikari recipient was there 
they saw Krishna in different, different modes. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Sla Basdev Goswami, Sla Sukhdev Goswami has mentioned in one slok, Mallanam Asani, Nrinang Naravara, Stinang Smaro Murtiman, Gopanang Sajana Hasatang Sabitro Sisu, Mritur Pajapate, Birata Vidu Santatang Param Joginam, Bitangatarangang Sagraja. Sagraja means elder brother. When Krishna entered in the arena of Kansa, then with his, with his elder brother, Mallana Masani, there are so many wrestlers headed by Chanud and Mustik and Hall, Tosal, so many. They saw, oh, it's just like thunderbolt. They thought that we shall smash Krishna and Balade very easily. But when they saw Krishna, oh, that's like thunderbolt. Palpitation start in their heart. What to do? How I can face to Krishna and Baladev? It's very hard. Oh my God, the thunderbolt has come. <laughs> Mallana Masani. Srinang Narovara. Mallana Masani. Srinang Narovara Smaramurtiman. There are so many wipe of Jadavas. They saw this embodiment of Cupid. And desire came in their heart. Oh, it's very beautiful, very attractive. They never seen so apple and so attractive like Krishna. Sinang Smara Murtiman Gopanam Sajana Hasatang. Gopanam, when Krishna came with Nanda Baba, then Sridam, Subal, Madhumangal, so many friends of Krishna came along with them. So they saw, oh, he's our friend. And Asatang, Asatang, Chiti Bujang, Sasta. There is so many kings headed by Kamsa. They saw, oh, he's our ruler. He can punish me, punish can us at any moment. He can smash in a moment. Chiti Bujang, Sasta, Sapitro, Sisu. For and for Vasudev and Devaki, in mm -hmm. one hand, other hand, Nanda Baba. They saw, oh, Krishna was our son. Mrituru Bhajapate. Bhajapate means the king of Bhaj dynasty, means Kamsa. Kamsa, look, oh, he is the personification of death. Oh, probably I invite my death in the arena. So Mrituru Bhajapate, Virata Vidusam, Virata Abhidusam, who is ignorant person, for ignorant. innocent person, for them, Tattam Param Tattahi, Supreme Theory, Tattam Param Joginam, and Tattam Param Joginam, for Jogi, is Param Tattah Supreme Theory, Tattam Param Joginam, Vishnanam Paradevotati, and there are so many Dynasty like Brisni, Kukkut, Andha, so many. Among them, prominence of Brisni was there. All were Jadav. All were Jadav. They thought he was our Para Devata, Supreme God. So, in this verse, all twelve Rasas are there. Five prominent Ras and seven secondary Ras are there. But all secondary Ras are not prominent up there because. Like Mrittur Bhajapate and other, they are not Krishna's favorable. So they are rasa bhasa also some, they are semblance of rasa there also. Hare Krishna Bancha Kalvata Rubhas Jatipa Sindhu Bhaye Vacha Paditanang Pavane Bho Vishnu Bhaye Bho Namo. Yes sir. After that, that point. The fourth evidence that is given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the jivas is that the living entity is the infinitesimal separated part and parcel of Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu particularly taught this to Sri Sanatan Goswami in Majulila of Chaitanya Charitamrita. Jivera Swarupahoi Krishnera Nityadas Krishnera Tatasta Shakti Beda Bed Prakash. The Jiva 
his swarup, his constitutional form, is that he is eternally the servant of Krishna. He is a manifestation of Krishna's tatastha shakti, or marginal energy, simultaneously one with and different from him. The tatta, or the very, very thin line between water and land. This is tatta, a very, very, just a very fine line. Sometimes that fine line is covered by water. We see it on the shore of the ocean. And sometimes that line is in the open. So sometimes the jiva falls down into this material world and by taking the proper process, he becomes situated in the spiritual world. Other jivas don't make that mistake in the beginning, but they choose correctly. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur explains in Jaiva Dharma that the And also Ji Jiva Goswami, in his Sandarbha, Paramatma Sandarbha. In Jiva Goswami's Paramatma Sandarbha, and Chilabhati Vinod Thakur explains in Jaiva Dharma Same thing. that the jiva is coming from, according to his constitutional position, those jivas who are eternally residents of Goloka Vrindavan to serve Krishna as Brajendra Nandan Sri Krishna manifest from Baladev. Those jivas whose swarup is to serve Krishna in Dwarka manifest from Baladev's first expansion as Mul Sankarshan. Those jivas who are eternally residents of Vaikuntha manifest from Maha Sankarshan. That's Baladev's expansion in Vaikuntha. And those are for the Nitya Siddha jivas. Those jivas who are, have the option or who can make the wrong, the wrong choice to come into the material world. The Tatastha Jiva is manifest from Maha Vishnu, Karanadakshai Vishnu. When he glances over the material world, as you know, his glance is a jyoti, is a light. In the light we can see and we can distinguish. So in that light, the Jiva who is coming from the Tatastha region within Mahavishnu has the vision to decide that I want to look towards Maya or I want to look towards the spiritual region. We cannot blame Krishna. Bhagavad Gita says that Krishna has no responsibility for our sinful or pious activities. We made the choice to leave Krishna and he's giving us all love and facility to come back to him. But uh, those who've forgotten Krishna, Anadir, Bahir Mukh, those who since the beginning of time have turned their face away from Krishna, Atoiva Maya Deha Sang Saraduk. After we turn away from Krishna, therefore Atoiva Maya gives us so much trouble. As Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur prays in Amana Durmati, one of his beautiful songs of lamentation and prayer for the service of the Lord. O oh Lord, a wicked mind brought me to this world, but your pure devotee who is, who is a Nitya Siddha associate of the Lord has come from there to give me the happy news that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to deliver me from the bondage. So therefore, hearing this, weeping and weeping, I'm coming to you to tell you my sad story and ask you to take me to my eternal abode at your lotus feet. Dhamna sena sada nirastaku akam satyam param dimahi. In the eternal abode of the Lord, there's no illusion. There's no possibility of making the wrong decision from that place. So we were in the Tatasta region manifest from that region and by the mercy of pure devotees those of us who made that mistake can be associated with the Lord in His abode. Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari. Also there are so many evidence and probably
that any jeev cannot fall down from Golok Band Kuntha, even from Bhai Kuntha. It is absurd. So Jeev Goswami has, or directly and very vividly he has told like all these things. Hmm? Gita is also told, Jadukatvan mani vartante tat dham mama. Hmm? But you can say that of I, Jai and Vijay came, oh, they never fall down. There one manifestation was there, Jai Vijay was there, and even by second manifestation, to serve his Narayan mood, to give him, oh, the rush, oh, they came. So, this is wrong. Also, oh, Chitraketu Maharaj, oh, he never fall down. Even Bharat, from his Arati mood, he never fall down only to give some instructions for us. So any jeev, when he is Golok Vrindavan serving, there is, there is no maya, this maya, only jog maya is there. No illusion, nothing there. There is no reason to fall down. So once going, never returning. They can come with Krishna for any... For any service. For any fit pastime. Then, what more? Very, very essence. Sadhinasansa Jivan Prakriti Kavalitam. The next teaching, Jivan Prakriti Kavalitam. All this has been done. In this world, Jivas are covered by Maya. Tadvimuktang Chabavat. But their conditioning in this material world is not forever. By the mercy of Krishna, or coming in the form of Guru and Vaishnavas, they can be delivered from their conditioning in this world. This is the next teaching. After that, Veda, mm. Veda, Veda, Pakasham, Sakalam, Api, Hare. All of this is called Sambandha Gyan, knowledge of relationship. We have heard that Krishna has some Shakti, that He has His internal, external and marginal potencies. So what is the relationship between Krishna and His potencies? And what is the relationship between each of the potencies? Hmm? There are five types of relationship. And there is some difference between them. So here, Mahaprabhu is saying, Beda, Beda, Pakasham, Sakalam, Api, Hare. His philosophy of Atinta, Beda, Beda, Tattva. The conclusion regarding the inconceivable, Atinta, difference and non-difference between Krishna and His potencies. Inconceivable oneness and difference does not mean that everything is one and different. It means that all of the potencies of Krishna are one with and different from Him. The Shakti, Shakti Matayo Abhed. There's one, oneness and difference between Shakti and Shakti Man. So, the oneness is that everything has emanated from Him. Everything is resting in Him. Everything will enter into Him. Nothing is independent of Him. Everything is dependent up upon Him at every moment. But at the same time, they have their specialities. There's a difference between Jiva and Bhagavan, between Jiva and Jiva, between Jiva and Maya. One thing more. Hmm. Between Krishna and His powers. And the transformations of these powers. Yes. Yes. Oh. Also, some same. So, in the in the, all the philosophies of other Sampradayas, they have given the philosophy that is called Vastu Parinamavad, that the Absolute Truth Himself is transformed into His creation. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, no, Shakti Parinamavad, the Absolute Truth is the same and is never transformed, but He has an energy and His energy is transforming and doing all activities. Like Jivas and whole world, the universe. So many that word. Like this is called so bed. everywhere this Achinta Veda Veda. Achinta Veda Veda Tattva. Here the word Achinta has been used. It means inconceivable. Yet when we hear this philosophy we can understand it. So why has the word been used? Achinta inconceivable. It means Veda Buddhi Gamya. That is that if anyone by their speculation by their philosophical reasoning, will try to understand the relationship between the Absolute Truth and His potencies. He will make a mistake. He will think that everything is separate or everything is the same. But if one will hear the conclusions of the Vedas, of Shastra, 
in Guru Prampara, Veda Buddhi Gamya. That means allowing his buddhi, his intelligence, to be guided by the superior intelligence of the Shastric conclusions. Then he can understand this philosophy. Therefore it is called Achintya Veda Veda Tattva. So Achintya means Veda Buddhi Gamya. Veda Buddhi Gamya. Srimad Bhagavat Buddhi Gam. Following the superior intelligence of Srimad Bhagavatam. And then second? Uh, so now we have discussed seven aspects of Pramaya, seven truths in, which are all containing some Bandhagyan, relationship between Jivas and Maya and Krishna. Now we come to the last two uh, of Dasamul Siksha. What is that? Sadhanam Shuddha Bhaktim. This is called Abhideya Tattva, the philosophy of the process of how to attain the goal of life. What is the process? Here Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, not by karma, fruitive activity, not by jnana, the cultivation of knowledge, not by yoga, the development of meditation and mystic powers, not by any process at all, only one process, sadhanam, the process is shuddha bhakti. That is here shuddha bhakti. Here bhakti means pure bhakti. And what bhakti is that? That means the not love the, of the... Not by the bhakti. Mm, not by the bhakti. The love of the residents of Vrindavan is really Shuddha Bhakti. And those who in this world follow their moods, their process is called Raganuga Bhakti. So here Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying Shuddha Bhakti means Raganuga Bhakti only. Why this is the process. Bhakti Minot Thakur Srila Prabhupada Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Jiv Goswami Rup Goswami Sanat all has the Siddhas Kavrat Goswami. Explain. And then what is the fraud? And then if one will follow this process, what is the goal? Uh, not liberation. Not elevation to heavenly planets, not any kind of uh, sense gratification, not liberation of personal variety in Vaikuntha or anywhere. The goal is only Sadhyam Tat Pritim. That Priti means Prem, perfect, unconditional, transcendental love for that Param Tattva, who is Rasabdim, that Lord who is the endless ocean of Ras, that is only Brajanda Nandan Shamasunda. Gopijana Valab, Radha Kanta Radharaman, the beloved of Shimati Radharani. Love for him, this is the Prayojan. Last topic is Prayojan Tattva, the ultimate goal of life. So these are the uh, collected teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, only in one verse, mercifully given by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. I want to explain today oh, the glories of Rupa Goswami. I began yesterday, but also I wanted to give these things. Without this, or no platform. So you must know all these things. Then pure bhakti may come. So I could not explain the glories of Srila Rupa I am keeping it for next two. Washington. But all devotees will be not there. Anyhow, our, our aim, what Srila Prabhupada has told, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati, what he has told, one is to be the feet dust of Srila Rupa Manjaya, Srupa Goswami. So, <coughs> Sakal me sakal me vad bihai durat chaitanya chandra charane kurutanuragam. So giving up all these things, everything. You should take shelter in the lotus feet of Gaur Chandra and Nityananda Prabhu. And then serving him. Everything you can have. So Gaur Chandra ki, Radha Krishna Jugal ki. Sachinandan Gaur Hari ki jai, Nityananda Prabhu ki jai, oh, Shila Gadadhar Pandit ki jai, Advaita Acharya Prabhu ki jai, Shivasadi Bhakta Vrinde ki jai, Vrindavan Chandra ki jai. <laughs> and then please excuse me, I never wanted to give any hurt, any thinking or anything to any devotee. But I have told what? Only out of love and affection. So, if any hard word for you have come, or oh, try to, please, please and forgive me. We, 
by your own by your own good quality ah yes sir hare krishna